Hey there, Alex Williamson here, and I just wanted to point out that I have some manzanita wood, and it has been in a shrimp tank. No chemicals have been added to this tank um, as far as, like, uh, medications or dyes or anything along those lines. Uh, the only thing that has come into this tank, I suppose, would be dechlorinator uh, by way of water. Other than that, nothing else. But if you check out the driftwood in here, it has begun to turn purple. And if we zoom in real close, you can see that it's it's not just slightly purple. It is a vivid purple. And the shrimp seem to be digging it. And uh, it is spreading. There's also a darker color, but... Um, that seems to be affiliated with the bark underneath, and then there's some, like, brownish, uh, algae growing on it. It's also occurring right here, and it is a really deep purple, um, that you can see. So, kind of odd, I was looking at any of the other wood in the tank, all the same, same wood, and it's not doing quite the same thing, um, there is kind of a grayish purple off color here outside the water, but that has been submerged. So it makes me wonder if perhaps, uh, so you can really see the purple when the light is right above it, but it makes me wonder if perhaps there's a bacteria or some sort of fungal bloom. There is a uh, famous bacteria uh, in the hard uh, wood family of trees that grows uh, a turquoise color and it fruits like this blue and black like turquoise just electric just like the rock turquoise color and on the inside of hardwoods it stains it this beautiful turquoise color and they they've been using that for hundreds of years um on like chess boards and just an in interesting jewelry and things with hardwoods it's usually small spots. Um, this, I, I don't know if it could be a fungi. It doesn't just scratch right off necessarily, so it's definitely in the wood pretty well. Um, let me take you above one more time so you can see the, the contrast, but it looks like it might be occurring here a little bit too. Um, maybe next it'll be going on here. Uh, but it is very vivid right in here so if you guys know what's going on here i would love to hear about it because i've heard other reports and looked at their pictures and theirs is usually algae and very clearly some sort of algae this is a little something different so uh yeah if you've got any ideas comment and uh i'll give you a present for uh the correct answer if you give me one and I track it down and that's what it appears to be. So, all right guys, take it easy. Have a good night. Take care of your fish. Take care of yourselves. And don't forget to keep on swimming.